Oh, hello folks, it's uh, Ken David Stewart with our Thursday evening podcast tonight from the Ken David Stewart Show. And uh, I wrote a rough draft of episode 39 of uh, Street Dreams called The Proposition, and I think I'll read that uh, for you tonight. Um, the last couple of days I've been you know, kind of planning out notes, character study templates, and things like that, and, uh, you know, reading some uh, books, uh, I believe by William Bernhardt on on writing, so I, I like to mix some of that into some of that study, and the, though I thought first maybe I was mainly a pantser, I'm finding now that I rely on more of a hybrid approach, and um, use note taking and other templates and stuff like that. It's uh, I'm finding it to be helpful to kind of keep myself organized. Okay, uh, I'll talk about that in more detail some other time. But uh, gee, let's get today to what we're really after is episode thirty nine of let me just find it again right here uh, episode 39 of Street Dreams ah here it is episode 39 the proposition when they arrived at Pizza Hut Harold and Whisper were seated by a handsome young waiter their table was seated next to a window the waiter spoke with a bit of a stutter are you re re ready to order? The waiter asked with a stuttering pattern of speech. Harold and Whisper both didn't take long to study their menus and make up their minds about what it was they wanted to eat this evening. Um, and uh, Harold asked, do you see anything that you would like to order? Yes, I like ham and pineapple pizza, Whisper said, casting somewhat of a flirtatious look towards the waiter. And I would like a bacon pepperoni pizza, Harold said. Would it be possible to order one large pizza, with one half being ham and pineapple and the other half bacon and pepperoni? Harold asked the young waiter. What did you say your name is? Whisper asked the good-looking wait waiter. The young man was still trying to mentally process the look of attraction that Whisper had given him a few seconds ago. The waiter couldn't respond to the two questions right away, and it took about 20 seconds before he could utter a coherent response. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Michael, and I'm very pleased to be your server this evening. He said this with a trace of a stutter. What are your names? he asked. I'm Whisper, and this is my friend Harold, Whisper answered. I believe, sir, that you asked if you could order a half and half ham and pineapple and pepperoni and bacon large pizza. That is correct, Harold answered. Harold and Whisper then ordered their drinks and handed the large laminated menus back to Michael, Harold and Whisper sat across from each other at the table. The table was close to the window and displayed the heavy snowfall that was occurring outside. The decor at the Pizza Hut was classy for a family restaurant. Harold looked out the window and was temporarily blinded by a car with its, uh, with its headlight brights on that was just entering the parking lot. I'm going to read that sentence over again because it got a little chopped up. Harold looked out the window and was temporarily blinded by a car with its headlight bright lights on that was just entering the parking lot. Harold said, I've been very curious about something. About what? Whisper responded. Well, shortly after you started living in my house, you suggested that I should use your life story in my next novel, Harold said a bit nervously. Were you serious? Absolutely, Whisper replied. 
I have a fascinating life story, and I'd be flattered if you immortalized my character in a book. Harold laughed. I'm not exactly a famous uh, author, Whisper, so I wouldn't count on your story uh, being immortalized. However, I do believe that you've led a very interesting life, and I would be pleased if you told your story to me. Like I told you before, I'm kind of in an early stage of writer's block right now, and I believe that ghostwriting your biography would help me break out of it, Harold answered. I was hoping you would say that, Harold. Let's start working on it right now, Whisper said, giving her head a shake, revealing her beautifully streaked blonde hair. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there for this evening, folks. Thank you so much for listening, and I appreciate all the likes and views I've been getting on uh, on WordPress.org and WordPress.com and on my Podbeam SoundCloud. I, I really appreciate that. It keeps me encouraged, and uh, I hope that you're, early some of you are getting something out of this. Uh, it's really fun doing this. Okay, let me just uh, check out where we're at right now in terms of our broadcast. And I'm just going to check out a couple of things here. Um, I'm just uh, checking out where my Audacity, oh, I found it where my Audacity software is is that right now I'm just trying to get used to this right now okay well thank you very much and uh, please tune again soon okay this is Ken David Stewart signing off